Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be continuing on with our HTML tutorial series. And in this series, or rather this tutorial, not series, but in this tutorial, we are going to be covering the anchor element in HTML. Now, do you remember how I talked to you about those skip to main content links that will allow you to jump to the main content of the page. Well, the anchor element is what's used for those, as well as just any other link on the page. So the anchor element is very important to building web pages. Now, how do we use the anchor element? Well, a few things. Um, the tag is not called, like, is not anchor when you type it. It's A, so it's just less than A, greater than, or whatever. But that's not all you need to do. In order for this tag to work, you must include an href attribute. Now, if you recall from when we looked at the link element, the href was uh, one of the attributes for that element as well. And it, the href attribute in the anchor tag does the exact same thing as it does in the link tag in that it refers to a resource or web location. The href can also contain a uh, can also contain a hashtag and then the ID of an element to allow you to jump to an element on the page. So let's put that into practice. In our body, go ahead and do a less than a space and then and then here we're gonna have the href. So href equals, and then in here, uh, in, in this, uh, in in the href uh, quotation marks, we're gonna have where we want it to go. So let's say we want this to go to the page we're on right now, index.html. So this can link to local files in your directory or some other directory in your site. And it can also go to uh, sites elsewhere on, on the web. So if you want to say create a link to your Twitter account or your Instagram or your Facebook or even your YouTube channel, you can do that. Uh, if you need to link to other resources on a topic, you can do that. All kinds of stuff with the uh, anchor tag. But the reason why we're going to use the index HTML page that we're on right now uh, is so that I don't have to hit the back arrow to go back. <laughs> and we can just stay on the page we're on. Right, so now that we have our, our location put into the quotation marks, we can close off this opening tag and then the Visual Studio gets the gets the less than slash a greater than closing tag. And what you put in between the opening and closing tags of the anchor element is the text that the link will have. So if you want a uh, let's say a link that goes to Twitter you know, in the href, you would have https colon slash slash twitter.com or something, www.twitter.com. And in between the uh, anchor tags, you would have uh, Twitter or so and so's Twitter or whatever in between there. So we're going to just say. We're going to say in between here, it's going to be called go home. Now we can, uh, let's see. Okay. Yep. Now we can go into edge and reload the browser.
And you can see in the page we have a link that says go home and when we click it, it brings us right back to the document we're already in. Now, let's say, for example, you wanted to open a link in a new tab when, when it's, whenever it's clicked. Well, you can do that pretty easily. And to do that, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this anchor. And we're going to create a new anchor tag that will allow us to go to a new tab whenever it's clicked. Uh, so a href equals, and we'll say we we'll say we're going to go to Google. Okay, so here we are. I've now done the href attribute where we're going to https colon slash slash www.google.com. So this will bring us to Google. However, if we leave it the way it is, it'll just bring us to Google on the current tab that we're in. How do we, how do we open a new tab? Well, we do that with the target attribute. So you just type target equals and then in between these quotation marks, there are a few options you can do, but to open a new tab, when you, when you click on the link, you do underscore blank. So let's see if I can, yeah, okay. So we're gonna close off those quotes and close off the opening tab for the anchor. All right. So now what we can do is in between these tags, we're gonna say, go to, Google, like that. Go ahead and save it. Go back to your browser and reload. Now you can see we have a link here. Focus on the link and click it. Now you can see we're in a new tab at, and we went to Google. If we do control tab, we can go to the our, to the document we were in before. And then you can do control W to close the tab if you so desired. So that pretty much does it for the link or the link um, element via an anchor, you know, the anchor tag. Like I said with target, there are multiple options that you can use, but I'm just going to, you know, I just showed you the blank uh, target in this video because most commonly if you're going to use target, you're going to use the blank, um, the blank option, but you can go and look up the other options. They are out there. Um, MDN, the MDN web docs have a have a good guide on this so thank you all so very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one